Denmark's 2010 World Cup ended at the group stages after a shock defeat by Japan. Morten Olsen's side regrouped to embark on their quest for a second European title to add to their surprise win in 1992. They were joined in Group H by Cyprus, Iceland, Norway and Portugal. First up was a home match against Iceland and Denmark picked up three points with a stoppage time winner from Thomas Kallenberg in Copenhagen. Denmark travelled to Porto a month later and were overrun by Portugal. The following week, Denmark played their 100th European qualifier and they celebrated the milestone with a 2-0 win over Cyprus. The Group H table had Denmark in third, three points behind leaders Norway. Denmark next saw competitive action in March 2011 when they travelled to Oslo. A perfectly struck volley from Dennis Romadal put the Danes ahead and looking good for the win. What a goal! Dennis Romadal with a rocket! However, Norway equalised ten minutes from time. Erik Husekleps sparing the group leader's brushes. It was the first time in the campaign the Norwegians had dropped points. Just over two months later, the Danes had another chance to gain ground with a trip to Iceland. And they came away with three vital points. Lasha Schoen's rocket from the edge of the box, giving them the lead on the hour mark. Denmark made no! The Atlimon is back! A quarter of an hour later, Christian Eriksen made it too, and Denmark sealed a win that moved them level with Portugal and Norway in the table. With the group so close, a win over the Norwegians in Copenhagen would give the Danes a big advantage in the race for top spot. In a positive first-half performance, it was the home team who broke the deadlock, Nicholas Bentner firing in Romadal's cross, much to the delight of coach Morten Olsen. Bentner capped a fine performance with his second just before half-time, sealing a crucial victory for Denmark. A convincing 4-1 win in Cyprus meant the Danes were guaranteed a top-two finish, but they needed victory in their final game against Portugal to secure top spot. The two front-runners met four days later, and a narrow home win confirmed Denmark's place in the Euro 2012 finals. YouTube.com forward slash goal is full of stuff like this and proper football too. To make sure you don't miss out, just hit the subscribe button. It really is that simple.